Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, I'm Reverend Dr. Benizam Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning with a very funny Ghanaian pidgin English, our own abbreviated English language that is, now who caused some? Who caused it? Now who caused some? Now if you remember, in, 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 in the issue, in, still on Numbers chapter 12, and I tried to explain it the other time, the principle is very simple. Moses gets married to an Ethiopian woman. Maybe it was wrong, maybe it was not wrong. Definitely, God's word said there should be no intermarriage between the Israelites and other nations or other tribes. But Moses had an Ethiopian woman, probably before he got back to Egypt to bring deliverance. So then, uh, Zuckerberg or Zuckerberg or whatever she, uh, her name was. But then there is, there, there is, uh, there is a crisis over here. Now Miriam gets up with Aaron and then they go over to Moses and they said, we are also prophets of God. Look at the statement. We are also prophets of God. Now it was two people who went to, who went to Moses to speak. And then there was that controversy. So it was an issue of you can't be always right. We also hear from God. You can't do just what you like and all those um, things. And the principle was very, very simple. Then God then said to them, okay, let me solve this thing. And God called Aaron and Miriam out. And then he rebuked them for their rebellious nature. And then he said, by the time God finished rebuking them, when they left the place, Miriam was leprous, but Aaron, Aaron went scot free. I'm beginning to say, why would God punish Miriam and not punish Aaron? Because the two of them came talking. And this is why I said the problem was a woman problem between Miriam and Moses' wife. Miriam was the instigator. Miriam was the person behind. Miriam was the person who goes to Aaron and tells Aaron, Hey, Aaron, um, you know, uh, uh, Moses can't do this. We are also prophets. And, and, no, I see Aaron as a very passive person. Why I'm saying that is that when the people came to him and said, Make us an, uh, an idol, a golden calf, he went by them. So Aaron is really, really a very passive, this, uh, uh, Simpapain, that was something like that. But so the issue was Miriam. It was a woman problem. There was competition in the heart of Miriam with Moses' wife. Because all of a sudden, Miriam and Moses had done all the work. And then the Ethiopian woman, the first, she now comes and she's first lady. Miriam is no longer first lady. So the reason for the problem or the reason for that altercation between Moses and Aaron and Miriam, the person behind it all was Miriam. You know what? Sometimes it's it, what you see is not what is. Sometimes there's somebody behind the scenes who's cooking things up, who's pushing things. And you, that, that person's face may not be very, very obvious. And sometimes I tell people, may, maybe, you, you know, it is somebody's wife telling somebody something Behind the scenes, somebody's husband saying something behind the scenes. That is why the rift is. That is why there's, there's that uh, contention. That is why there's a problem. The person behind, the, in the engine room. So that particular problem, the reason for Israel's delay and the reason for the problem between Moses and Aaron and all that was Miriam. And sometimes it is those people behind. They don't bring their face up and they don't, it doesn't, you, you don't even see them. That the faceless, fearful cowards who won't come up and say, this is my problem. But they try to hide behind other people to foment trouble. This is who they are. They hide behind other people to instigate. If you're bold and if you're not a coward, come out. Sometimes when there are issues, uh, look behind the scenes. Ask God to give you discernment see behind the scenes. Just like John, Herod had problem with John. Salome, Herod's daughter, her Herodias' daughter, comes in and she dances. 
But it was Herodias who says to Salome, ask for the head of John. Salome has got no problem with her. John, the Baptist. It was Herodias. Sometimes there are some Herodias behind the scenes. They are the people who is the gate. You know what? Now who calls him? It be Miriam. Now who calls him? It be you. See you later.